Hi fellow dog fanciers, welcome back to a new video. As promised last week, today we'll talk about whippets off leash. Is it possible? When is it possible? What to consider and when you should not do it? We have a lot to talk about, it's a very lengthy topic, so let's get right into it. First, is it possible? Yes, of course, but... There are many buts here and to get a better understanding of where all of them come from, let's first think of what is the purpose of the breed Whippet. What are Whippets bred for? The super simplified answer is to spot small game from a long distance chase it and catch it. They belong to the sighthound group and are very fast, medium-sized dogs that often have insane prey drive. On top of that, unlike breeds that were created to work with and along humans and are more willing to cooperate, sighthounds are primitive, headstrong dogs that work independently. Humans don't take part in their work. Now that we got this out of the way, there are two important conclusions we can make. One, whippets are super fast dogs that will take off as soon as they spot a squirrel, a rabbit, a pigeon and sometimes even a Pomeranian. Two, when they enter the catch the fluffy thing zone, your recall will work two out of ten times at most, if at all. At that moment, you're your whippet's last concern because you were and never will be a part of the chasing task. And also sometimes they'll simply not find any value in what you're asking from them and they will choose to ignore you without any regrets. Now that we've gone through uh, the two most important whippet facts for today, you already know that first, your whippet will chase things sometimes, it's in their blood and you can't change that, and second, your recall will most probably not work because it's not important to them. It's in your best interest to make peace with these two facts. Moving on to important things to consider when deciding if you should let your whippet off leash. First things first, don't take your whippet to a dog park. You can just Google why dog parks are bad and you will find an ocean of information. In fact, don't take them to any place that's full of all types of other dogs that are off leash either. There are some dogs that will be dangerous to your whippet and other dogs that will be in danger with your whippet around. Repeat after me, whippets like to chase things and that sometimes can include dogs from small and toy breeds. While they will not necessarily chase a small dog to hurt it, from a fair distance they could mistake it for prey which will activate their impulse to run. As a result, the least that could happen is they could scare the small dog and its owners and we don't want that. Or they might bump into the small dog which happened to be on their way while they were running full speed and minding their own business. Or they might try to play with the small dog without realizing they're bigger and faster and hurt it in the process. It's just not worth the risk. I break this rule on a few occasions. In the park we go to there are a few small dogs that are used to being and playing around our whippets and vice versa. For example, some French bulldogs, some small terriers and some Italian greyhounds. They know how to behave around whippets, they know what games they can and cannot play with and around the whippets and our dogs are used to them and are gentle. However, as soon as I spot a Pomeranian, a Yorkie, a Chihuahua, a Dachshund or any other small or mini dog or even a growing puppy that I don't know or that my dogs are not used to, all whippets are on leash immediately. If you own a whippet or another sighthound, it will be your job to protect small dogs from your dog. That's because the other dog's owners either don't care or they have zero capacity to understand how dangerous it could be for their dog to be around sighthounds. 
And oh my, I have so many experiences with irresponsible small dog owners, I can make a whole video with story times. Whippets also like to play very loud games with each other, that's completely normal. But they also believe that every other dog will like and tolerate this type of game, which is not the case. Because of this, they are not a suitable playmate for every single other type of dog, no matter how well behaved they are, because the game can quickly escalate into something very bad. They can sometimes also be bullies, and the size or the age of the other dog doesn't matter. And this dark side of theirs peeks through the surface, especially when they're together with other whippets. Here is a story time for you. We were once in the park with Ruby, her best whippet friend Queen, and they were playing together with a few of their dog friends from different breeds. There was a French Bulldog, a Cane Corso puppy, an Italian Greyhound, and I'm pretty sure there were a few other dogs as well. We have a field in the park where we go to where we let the dogs play and it's like an unspoken rule that that's the side hound play field so we are rarely bothered by unfamiliar dogs and our whippets don't leave that place they just chase balls or play with each other on that field the only times where they leave is if they see a squirrel or if they want to go and greet a friend so on that day, out of nowhere, an unknown off-leash dog flies to the middle of the field and of course our whippet's first reaction is to go and see who that is. That dog, however, I guess didn't expect to be greeted by so many dogs and especially fast dogs and started running around, tail between the legs. The whippets chased after him and at the end he submitted lying down belly up. At that time he was surrounded not only by the whippets that got a bit too excited by the chasing game and were now barking at the dog that was laying on the grass, but they were also joined by all of their non-whippet friends they were originally playing with. As soon as I caught the whippets, the main bullies, everything stopped. The dog got up and ran to the next field to look for trouble there. He wasn't mentally or physically hurt and I don't think that he or his owners learned any sort of lesson because 30 minutes later he was back trying to do the same thing, just that this time the whippers didn't pay him any attention. So throughout my years of experience I have reached the conclusion that Every whippet has the potential to turn into a bully if given the right opportunity. The conclusion is, if you insist on your whippet to interact with and play with other dogs off-leash, build a network of well-mannered, well-behaved dogs that are preferably size and age appropriate for a sighthound. Depending on where you can go to let your whippet off leash, you might come across squirrels, rabbits, birds, deer, and any other type of animal that will make your dog's prey drive shoot from zero to a million in half a second. For example, in our park we have many squirrels during spring and of course they get chased, but lucky for everyone, they run from one tree to the next to save themselves and the whippets go as far as the squirrel goes, so that's usually not too far. But if you go to a field, the woods or any other place that has more wildlife, be prepared that your whippet will chase the potential prey as far as it goes until they catch it or until they lose it out of sight. In the meantime, you can scream, shout, recall, do whatever you want, but you'll be just wasting your energy. I know many people who successfully let their whippets loose in the woods and have a great time. I also have a friend whose two whippets chase deer and eventually always come back, but I personally am too scared to do it.
when they want to catch something or if they want to go full speed from part A to part B, they don't care about anything else. They don't see or hear anything that happens around them. If their target is across the street or crossed the street, your whippet will follow and will not consider the danger of doing so. That means that they could get hit by a car. For that reason, avoid places that are too close to busy roads or any roads preferably. A driver will also not expect a super fast animal to appear in front of their car and won't have the time to react. So not only may your whippet may get hurt, but they might cause someone else to get hurt as well. Whippets have short coat and paper thin skin. No matter the terrain, due to the fast speed and the sharp and sudden turns they take while they're running, they can get injuries as small as cuts, scratches, bruises, broken dew claws, and as big as torn ligaments and broken bones. And I don't want to scare you, but I know of whippets that lost their lives due to skull injuries and broken necks as a result of their fast speed. It's rare, but it can happen. I prefer open areas with little to no bushes where they can scratch themselves, little to no trees and benches where they can bump into, and little to no holes in the ground where they can step a foot wrong and injure themselves. In any case, no matter the precautions you take, your whippet will get a scratch or a cut at least once in their lifetime. And that unfortunately is a part of owning them and it comes hand in hand with their fast speed. Your whippet's temperament will play a huge role in you making the decision of when and where it is safe to let them off leash. For example, good boy Brady here can be off leash whenever and wherever. He has no interest in chasing anything. He barely leaves our sight and if he decides to do so, it's to sniff something 5 meters away. And if we call him back, it takes him approximately 3 seconds to return. He has no interest in small dogs, squirrels, rabbits, birds, whatever. So I dare to say that he is 100% safe to be off leash anywhere, anytime. Ruby, on the other hand, will chase squirrels. Rico doesn't work when she does that and on a day with many squirrels in the park, all she can think of is where and when the next one will pop out from. On a day like this, if she spots a fluffy mini dog running around off leash in the distance, she will run after it. She will go to the dog, realize it's a dog, no touching. After that, she will return back to us. On most occasions, she only cares about her ball and running together with her whippet friends. But she is for sure not a dog I will let loose in the woods because we will for sure lose her in the first 10 minutes. She is the ultimate hunter and will chase anything and everything that tickles her prey drive. Let's take another example and that's Ivy. She's lazy so after she's had a good run and is tired she will look for bugs and interesting plants to eat. Those are some of the reasons why she needs to lose weight. But when she spots something she finds exciting 20 meters away she will go and stay there. She is also the most I don't give a shit, give me treats or never call me again type of dog I have ever had. I have to be armed with a lot of food and she has to know that I am if I want to make sure that she comes back when I call her. Sometimes she ignores me, so shocking, right? So I have to go to where she is to manually get her back and that's usually quite far away. After which she will wait for me to get distracted and she will go back to the same spot again. She is the type of whippet that can only be off leash at an open area so that I can see where she is and where she goes all the time. 
The conclusion here is that your whippet's behavior, temperament and habits will greatly determine when and where you can dare to let them off leash. Last but not least, let's talk about whippet puppies off leash. You recently got a puppy and you would very much like to know when it's safe to let them loose. And this again will depend on each puppy. For example, some puppies naturally try to stay around their people until they grow confidence or they like to stay where their dog friends are and if that's also close to the humans then great. In that case you can start to let them loose once they've gotten used to you and they know for sure that you are their people. However, Whippet puppies believe they're the main characters of their lives and think that they earn lives as they play the game. They're too fast for their own good and definitely lack wisdom. When they run, they don't think about where they're going and what route they're taking. They're like teenagers with no driver's license that just got a race car as a gift. To avoid injury or an accident, I highly recommend you take things slow. A few minutes of off-leash time every day and as they grow and as they prove to you that they're more reliable, you can extend this time and you can also switch areas. And don't ever make a growing puppy run full speed intentionally or Ask from them to chase or run after something that will push them to exceed their own limits. They're not developed enough for that and this on its own can lead to injuries. On the other hand, there are also puppies like baby Eris, who's been here for three months and is not yet allowed to be off leash in the park or any area that doesn't have a fence. Eris is quite a confident and easily excitable puppy when she sees an open space. Once she gets excited, she switches from zero to a million in less than half a second and she will run to and from anywhere full speed. She also still thinks that every dog wants to interact with her, which is not and should not be the case for her own safety and good. So for now, we don't take any risk. To avoid injury, getting lost, or getting hurt by her own speed or another dog, she is only allowed off leash in moderately large fenced areas. That will be until she grows some more brain, wisdom and impulse control. We aim to work on this all summer and hopefully sometime in September she will be ready to slowly integrate among the free whippets of the park. So that was it for today's quite long video. I hope it was useful and you learned something new or that it answered your question if you were wondering if and when your whippets can be off leash. Next week we are continuing with the series of our new puppy Eris, her life and her adventures because we're not nearly done with this story yet. As always, have a great weekend and a fantastic week afterwards and I will see you next Friday with a new video. Bye-bye!